Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we are blasting Romania's Larva 4-Track Promo 2020. Steiglin Black, Black Hand. I, I really think this is pretty much a perfect death metal demo. Seriously, this is absolutely fucking filthy, disgusting, heavy as fuck, death metal. And I'm just beyond blown away by this band. The fact that it's not only a duo, but just, wow. The vocals are insane. Seriously fucking awesome. And you have disgusting Dennis on bass and drums and Lucilla Soretia on vocals and guitar. Sorry if I messed the names up. But it's just wow. Everything's DIY, the artwork, the logo. And this is the uh, Steiglin Black Hand edition. I know that this was going on eBay and stuff. And I kept telling people, I was like, yo, like, you know, it's available stateside. You don't need to be going on eBay and shit and spending like $25, but it is what it is. And get a copy of this if it's still around, if you're a fan of filthy, heavy death metal. I thought this band was from the Pacific Northwest until I read a little bio and I was just like, Holy shit, like, Romania, this is gnarly. And, yeah, it's legit pretty perfect, and it's a demo. I love the vocals, everything about it, it's, when it comes to me personally, it's like, just on the money, and I love it. Larva. Four track promo tape 2020. Wow. And speaking of awesome cassettes, yo, know, Hales Nuclear War now. Like, seriously. And also, Hales to John Randall for making this possible. But this is a release by. I, I've heard about this project because it's pre Immortal and it's pre Hades. So, I just remember hearing, like, rumblings about this, like, pre-immortal death metal band back when, you know, before the second wave of Scandinavian black metal hit, a lot of those bands were death metal bands. Like, for example, Dark Throne is the best example. Go listen to Soulside Journey. Like, it's awesome. It's fucking great. For a death metal release, like, part of me wishes they kind of stuck to that style, but then we wouldn't have certain classic albums. But this is Amputation Slaughtered in the Arms of God, as well as a live rehearsal and the 1989 demo, Achieve the Mutilation. I really, really love, love, love the cosmetics that Nuclear War Now did with this release. Everything is official. And just fucking wow. Again, when it comes to the cosmetics, like, you might be like, I could draw better than that. It's the fucking point. This is a demo and recordings... From 1989 to 1990. You know, it's fucking sick, especially coming from Norway. I mean, it's definitely, it, it's like a death thrash release, but still, it's a death metal release, and it's fucking awesome. Especially the Slaughtered in the Arms of God demo, which is two tracks, but it's it's honestly worth the price of this cassette alone. And again, look at how rad Nuclear War Now made this cassette cosmetically. Making it actually look like 
a mixtape. Like, how fucking cool is that? I really hope they do this with the Beharit reissues. I just think it would be fucking cool. Like, but just in case they don't, fucking hails the nuclear war now for doing something outside of the box and making it work and, in my opinion, look cool as fuck. But what else is cool as fuck is the fact this is even in my hands. Like I said, I've only heard rumblings of this pre-immortal death metal band. And it's fucking sick. It really is. Like, I, I really fucking love this stuff. Especially the rehearsal. The rehearsal, it's one of those things where it's meant for cassette. Like, if you got the LP of this, like, you know, enjoy it and whatnot. But, like, when it comes to rehearsal recordings, sometimes you really need to go the cassette route because it, it's meant to have that low fidelity and just sound fucking savage, especially a release like this. Like, amputation don't fucking play around. And I like the threat they give on here. And the English is a little iffy, but it's Nor it's Norway in the early 90s, pretty much. But anyone who try to rip us off or fuck this tape must await a slowly amputation. That's fucking awesome. And same here. Rip-offs everywhere. Fuck you. Like, awesome. And then, like, right up front, amputation thank list, Euronymous of the True Mayhem. I just thought that was fucking cool. Like, just seeing, you know, history. Because I'm pretty sure this is all taken from the original demo stuff. Or at least they did an amazing job replicating it. But, like, you have Harold on vocals and guitar, Jorn on drums, Trolls on guitar, and John Atal on bass. And the logo and cover is by Harold. And I love this shit, man. Like, just hand-drawn, fucking nasty, dungeon-esque death. It's awesome looking. And the, the logo? Fuck yeah. And then you get, like, Harold's old P.O. box and shit in Nestun, Norway. Like, I wonder who lives there now. It's kind of, like, it's one of those things that's kind of interesting, like, Write to a dead P.O. box, maybe? Like, who knows? Maybe you'll get a response back. But, I doubt it. But, like, I just love this drawing style. It's fucking rad. And it goes so well with the music. And, that again, it's something about this. You know, it's 12 tracks. And it's just fucking great. And real quick, I apologize. This bad boy, trust me, it's just, it's so fucking good. It's straight to the point. Three full tracks and an instrumental. It's, it's just an awesome fucking demo. But speaking of awesome demos, I mean, you have a demo from 1989 and a demo from 1990, as well as a live rehearsal recording. Nothing past 1990. Like, just think of that when you listen to this. And it's just so fucking good. And tracks one and two are from the Slaughtered in the Arms of God demo in 1990. And tracks three through six are from the Achieve the Mutilation demo from 1989. And the B-side is all a rehearsal from 1989. Sick, sick shit. And you have Heavenly Grace, Slaughtered in the Arms of God, Plague of Death, Death is Not the End, 
merciless slaughter and intense torture on the demo side of things with both demos. And then on the B side with the live rehearsal, we have amputation, death is not the end, merciless slaughter, hunger of blood, intense torture, and plague of death. This is also in conspiracy with Hearst Records. And I really like these uh, old, like, live photos from, like, band practice. They're just fucking cool, very juvenile and awesome. Like, because when I was in my first band, I remember, like, getting my ex-girlfriend to come to band practice to take pictures of us, like, the way they did, like, just jamming and, you know. Then we had pictures for MySpace. But back in the day, it wasn't like that. So it's awesome that, you know, people do preserve the past. And that's something that I really feel needs to be a priority in modern extreme music. I really feel like there should be, like, this fucking vault where all these important records go for the next generation that get into like you know get a copy of fucking blood incantation star spawn throw that bad boy in a vault and 50 years later some kid stumbles upon it and you know if death metal still exists which i'm sure it will blood incantation is one of those bands that's gonna go down in history alongside bands like morbid angel and I think that's awesome. But then you have this obscurity, like amputation, where, again, I just thought this was a rumor for a very long time that there was this pre-immortal death metal project. And it's only Jorn, but, like, still. I, I thought, like, you know, like, wow, I wonder what it sounds like. And you know what it sounds like? Fucking sick. It's fucking thrashy. It's straight up death metal, but those thrash elements are definitely there. And it's just an enjoyable listen. And the B side of things with the rehearsal, I, I really, really, like, I think it sounds great on cassette. And I'm sure it sounds great on vinyl. It's just a little more authentic. And that sounds corny, but it's not, trust me. It sounds fucking awesome. And hails to Nuclear War now for just, again, putting out something that, you know, nobody else probably would even fuck with. Besides maybe, like, Hell's Headbangers. But, like, I think it's cool as shit that, you know, I have this demo tape in my hands right now, and... I'm gonna throw it on in a couple minutes, but this is a little piece of history and I highly recommend it if you're a fan of like that kind of proto death metal sound, especially like, I wouldn't say if you're a fan of Immortal that this is essential, but it's definitely a piece of their history and it's worth listening to just for that reason, but it's also a badass fucking tape. Like, I, I love this shit, so definitely get into Amputation, Slaughtered in the Arms of God. Awesome, awesome stuff. I think they have a live cassette as well, but I'm not entirely sure off the top of my head. But we were blasting the Larva demo. Well, the Larva 4-track promo tape 2020, Stiglin Black Hand, fucking sick. It really, really doesn't get fucking better than, like, this is my shit. This is, like, what I want out of a death metal demo, and it's on the fucking money. Like, seriously, hailing from Romania... Hails to Larva. Awesome, awesome stuff. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Get into some amputation, some Norwegian 
proto death metal. It's fucking sick. But as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hey.